All right, Dumbo fans, we've got to talk about it. Dumbo Z or Dumbo Z Kai? Which one truly takes the crown? For many years, fans have been split. Some lean towards the original and the others swear by Kai. But today, we're breaking down everything from the music, visuals, voice acting, pacing, and accuracy to the manga to find out if Dumbo Z Kai is actually better than Dumbo Z. Let us all dive in. First off, let's address the elephant in the room, nostalgia. Many of us grew up with the original Dumbo Z and let's be real, it's hard to beat those first memories of watching Goku, Vegeta and the gang duke it out against classic villains. We all remember racing home to catch the latest episode on TV, right? But nostalgia aside, Kai has some serious strengths that can't be ignored. Alright, let's start off with the music. For OG fans, Bruce Falcona's music in Dumbo Z has become legendary. Tracks like Gohan's Anger, Perfect Cell, and the hyperbolic time chamber themes bring back a flood of memories. Falcona's scores just fits that hardcore, gritty vibe of DBZ so well, especially if you grew up on it like I did. It added layers of intensity, suspense, and epicness to every scene. Now, Kai's soundtrack, composed initially by Keiji Yamamoto and later on replaced by Norihito Sumitomo, has its own flavor. It is more cinematic, closer to what you would expect from a Japanese version and most fans argue that it's truer to Akira Toriyama's original vision. Kai's music is atmospheric and it makes things feel more serious, which appeals to a different crowd. But honestly, both scores are great for different reasons. If you're a fan of both, you are probably just vibing to either one. But Falcona just hits different, man, especially for those of us who grew up on it. Now let's get to the visuals. No question, Dumbo Z Kai wins in animation quality. Kai is remastered in HD. Colors are shapier and the lines are cleaner. Gone are the old school greeny scenes. Instead, we get visuals that pop on a modern screen. Kai eliminated a lot of animation inconsistencies and frames where the characters look, well, a little wonky. Part of that, Kai also comes with its downsides. To make it closer to the manga and fit the shorter episode count, Kai removed a lot of filler scenes that Jumbo Z is well known for. And yes, filler can be annoying, like five episodes of powering up, but it also built tension and gave us some fun moments that Kai simply cut out. For some fans, these moments add to the DBZ experience. They give us a breather between battles and sometimes even a good laugh. Kai's pacing is much faster and it is more focused on getting from one major battle to the next. But for some, that makes it feel like it's a bit to the point. It's like getting to the main course without any appetizers. Oh, you haven't figured it out yet. I'm the Saiyan who came all the way from Earth for the sole purpose of beating you. I am the warrior you've heard of in legends, pure of heart and awakened by fury. That's what I am. I am the Super Saiyan, Son Goku! Alright, now on to the voice acting, which is where Drombo Zikai really shines. Enkai Funimation re-recorded the English dub to be more accurate to the Japanese version. And honestly, they nailed it. Sin Shemal, Chrisabat and the whole cast bring a level of emotional intensity that just wasn't as consistent. Dumbo Zikai gave us the iconic scenes without any of the quirks that came from the English dub's translation changes. The speeches are truer to the manga and you can feel the raw emotion in Kai's redub. Think about that legendary speech from Goku. I am the hope of the universe. In Kai, it even feels more powerful because it's closer to what the original Japanese version intended and the voice acting just feels a bit more mature. But here's the big question. How important is manga accuracy to you? Kai sticks more closer to Akira Toriyama's original manga, cutting out entire storylines that were added for the anime. For some hardcore fans, this makes Kai the definitive version of Jumbo Z. But for others, it's like losing part of a story they fell in love with. The Gullick Jr. saga, gone. Scenes with Gohan training with Piccolo that were exclusive to the anime are also gone. For some fans, that hurts. And this is where the debate really heats up. On one hand, Kai has a tighter story, a version that's true to the creator's version. But on the other hand, Dumbo Z with all its fillers gave us more time with these characters and let certain moments breathe. So what's the final verdict? Well, it depends on what you as a fan value most. If you want the refined, streamlined manga accurate experience, then Kai is absolutely worth your time. But if you want the full experience, the slow build-ups, the little character moments and yes, even the episodes where everyone is just powering up for half the time, then Dumbo Z will always have that special place. So you tell me, which side are you guys on? Are you on Team DBZ or Team Dumbo Z Kai? 
drop your comments down below and let's get this debate rolling i want to hear from all the og fans and anyone who's watched both and hey if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more drum ball discussions man and yeah thanks for watching and remember no matter which version you prefer we all love the same scene spirit all right guys i'll see y'all in the next one later fam y'all are awesome all right peace